What's up guys? This is going to be a little cell phone video-y sort of a quick bonus video. Um, I have been talking to some people who have asked some questions about overhead valve, valve trains and how they work and what the components do and that sort of thing. And it's not something that's very easy for me to type out an answer over a text message. So I thought I'd put a little video together with that information so that if any of you guys are curious about how overhead valve, valve trains work, Hopefully this will answer the majority of your questions. So here is in simplest terms how this works. You start with the camshaft. The camshaft has a bunch of these things called lobes which are egg shaped and as it spins this high point strikes or doesn't strike because it's laying on it all the time but it pushes up this lifter. This is the lifter right here. They ride on the camshaft. As a matter of fact, here is a lifter we can look at. And basically what you're going to have here, you've got the roller on the bottom, which just rolls along the camshaft as the camshaft spins. This center section right here is where the actual hydraulic action occurs. As you see here, this top piece, that can actually go up and down within that. Oil gets into it through the oil ports on the side. It pumps up and it absorbs the shock of the cam hitting it as it goes up and down. That in turn pushes the push rod up here. The push rod pushes one end of the rocker arm which is attached in the middle and has a pivot point. Pushing up on that end of the rocker arm pushes down on the other end of the rocker arm which pushes this valve down to open it. Then the valve spring pops it back closed anytime there's no pressure on this side. So that's how it's able to open and close and allow air in or out of the cylinder. Things that can fail here, I have seen on my car, for example, on this cam lobe, the high part wore off. So it was more round. So as it spun, it never pushed the lifter up at all. Another way that this can fail is this lifter can come apart, this end piece can come out, or it can collapse internally to where it does not hold itself up. So when the cam pushes it up, it just compresses and doesn't push the push rod. Other things that can happen, rocker arms can, I've seen uh, the bolt strip out and come off. Uh, that usually makes a lot of noise. You can bend a push rod, but that usually also makes a lot of noise to give you an indication. But basically that's the valve train in an overhead valve engine. And that is pretty much how it works. And I hope that was useful to you guys in some way, shape, or another. If it was, please drop this video a like. Drop me a comment with any questions on anything I maybe didn't cover or that you still have a question about. And make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.